Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of Secret of Mana. In the last episode, we got- we finally beat the second wall face, and now we're gonna continue on. Let's see what Thanatos is all about. Talk to me, dude. And he's just da 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 Why you try to get out of this door? Doesn't open. Oh crap! Usually, it's always the spooky doors behind the sacrificial altar that open. Die! Look. Opal at last. I look. I'm so glad you're safe. What are you doing? Pesky girl. Bring her back now. Sorry. Thanatos needs her help. Serious, she loves you. I can't handle this. Ouch. Opal. Opal! Thanks, I needed that. I can't move, so please help Opal. Yeah, one whippings. Go through the door back there. And, uh, Levi will always hit him with whatever he has on hand, it's just kind of funny. I guess it would be more fitting if you had gloves on and you punched him in the face than hitting him with a whip, sword, or axe. Oh, well, eh. Stick around. My life force is strong, Shield. And yeah, what the... Idiot, stop it! Move? We can too. I died off since some of her power. What does he think he's toying with? I'm really tired of you. Vampire, take him. This boss can be pretty dangerous. Um, this is one boss that is difficult to fight because he does not have any weaknesses to any of the magic types that you have, and he has a lot of health. Remember that difficulty spike I was talking about? Yeah, he's it. Unfortunately, I was not able to leave to stock up on anything, so... You may be looking at a game over here. But with this enemy, you want to hit his shoes. I'm landing on you while my go unconscious. show you just how much HP this guy has. Two thousand. Yeah, he's no... he's no joke. So you just gotta be careful of that when you're fighting him, that he's got a lot of HP. Because of my lack of fairy walnuts, I'm gonna have to beat this guy with brute force. Or sacrifice my healing. Up my 
So when he's cloaked by his cloak, he can't be hit. It'd be a good time to hit him with magic, but unfortunately, since I don't have that as an option. The problem is, the, your helpers will use their charge attacks on him when he's poked like that, which initially wastes it, and his energy don't go as strong. He keeps cloaking, I can't use my abilities, sad. thing that works. Yeah. And I did not Thankfully level 5 spear is a AoE attack. I usually max out uh, Salamander to his highest level that he can possibly get at this point to beat this boss in an instant so I don't have to fight him physically because of his HP amount. I'm going to use his medical herb. That barely works somehow. I'm doing a lot of damage to him with spear, that's good to know. Boss fight. It's wild. That is fine though. Bosses are meant to be difficult. I'm gonna have to hold my charge. I 
hang them up. Final disco spear attack, and he's gone. Way to go! Boomerang's orb. Where's Dialuck? Dialuck! Oh, well, let's go. I'm okay. I'll find him. I'm sure. Oh, I, I didn't know we were supposed to move. Or that! That looks is now gone, so now we have to find him again, I guess. Since it's kind of what we paid for. I don't know. Got some good orbs, though. We can upgrade those real quick. Which I highly suggest... Um... Upgrading your orbs, buying all those items that you lost. Um. Because, yeah, we're not gonna be able to do for a little bit. New weapon orbs indeed, good sir. Claymore gets upgraded too. Next Galloway. Chain Whip gets upgraded too. Flail of Hope. Rising Sun gets upgraded to Red Cleaver. And now what they do, which I should equip the Scalibur, I guess, since it is my sword. Scalibur, effective on evil and non-living enemies. Um, Red Cleaver, and inflicts damage on insects, etc. And Flail of Hope, effective on evil and non-living enemies. Find some fish, etc. Succeeded in at least saving the people who were under that spell, I hope. Getting one step closer to finding out just what they're plotting. In the next episode of Secret of Mana, we'll find out more about this entire situation in this town. See you guys then.